everyone, and welcome back again to Motion. Fuck you! Oh, sorry about that. I thought you had eye surgery, not asshole surgery. <laughs> my face is an eye. Oh, you got operated on your brown eye? <laughs> yeah, I get my brown eye operated on so it looks pretty sweet. Nice, nice. Yeah. But yes, this is the uh, first uh, fucking most hated podcast of 2015. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Q. What have you been up to, man? Uh, Watching hoes get Superman punches bars. Oh. Actually, I wish I could have been there for that, but I wasn't. I know. Sometimes you gotta Superman that hoe. Yep. That's what Soldier Boy meant this whole time. Exactly. We, did, we just didn't know. Yeah, Superman that hoe. Sometimes you gotta put boots to sneaks. <laughs> 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 Fucking regular Negro Donald. Yep. Uh, man. Maybe you shouldn't have said all those things about the soldiers in Iraq. Yeah, he might actually have a career, you know. Yeah. Dude, did you see he has a tattoo on his forehead, like, between his eyebrows? Really? You mean the Mark of Buddha? <laughs> the Mark of Buddha! More like the skin Mark of Buddha! That's some Gouda cheese. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you, man. So yeah, my uh, buddy here, the fucking Biclops, now is not a four eyes anymore. Yeah, I'm not a four eyes. I just have two shitty eyes now. He had GASIC surgery on his brown eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I might have made that joke, but I yeah. will for the rest of your life. <laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta make fun of my brown eye. Yep. So, uh, At least it's not a wasteland like yours. Yeah, it is a wasteland. Alright, but yeah, the Lord Humongous is all like, I, whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that guy says. <laughs> Walk the away, you. <laughs> 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 the, f- <laughs> the precious juice. Come to your ass. So, uh. But yeah, man, I got eye surgery. Yeah. That, w- that was kind of different. Yeah, so now you can fucking. Walk around. You can get horse drain goggles legitimately. Yeah, and protect my eyes when I'm playing basketball. And yeah. I'll look pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. No, man. Like, it's it's weird because, like, y- you would think they would knock you out. I don't know. Maybe you don't think that. But you're awake the whole time, you know. And, like, it, it's probably like a five-minute process where uh, they just uh, they have to peel your eye open. And I don't mean, like, cut your like eye open, like, peel it. But, yeah. like, separate your eyelids and, like, stick this fucking plastic ring to it. And, like, they really press on your fucking eye to the point where, like, man, I feel like my eye could pop. That's that's what it feels well, like. Well, it looks like your eye did pop a little bit. You got a little burst yeah, blood vessel. Yeah, it did. Probably not from two things. Yeah. It's not that cool. Oh. Yeah. But, uh, no, after that, then, like, they use a laser to cut, like, a C-shape into your eye. Then, like, they take that flap that they cut over, and you can actually, like, see the doctor use, like, this little utensil. To pull your like cornea over your fucking eye. That sounds fucking terrible. Yeah, and you yeah, not like darkness blind, but like you you go from seeing to I can't see anything when they pull it over your eye. Like they just literally drag it across your eye and like it like takes the skin off your eye. Everything that you're saying to me right now makes me definitely want to go get LASIK surgery. <laughs> yeah, I know it's pretty scary, huh? Yeah, I'm a little girl about that. But uh, it, and that that lasts like thirty seconds. It it goes by so fast. Oh no. So, like, then uh, they do the same to the other eye. So you got both your flaps and your eyes open. Then they uh, kind of use surgical tape to tape your eye open. And then they shoot another laser into your eye. And you just have to look straight for, like, 40 seconds. And it just does its thing. And then the doctor scrapes your eye flap back across your eye. And you can see again. And I'm not saying, like, you're 20-20, like, immediately. But you can actually see again. And it... it, it, it over time, it just gets better and better. So, so uh, you're not going to need your glasses anymore. So what are you going to do with those bitches? Are you going to fucking smash them with a hammer? or I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Is that a good idea to smash them with a hammer? Well, I, I mean, I don't really need them. Yeah. I just didn't know if you had, like, a cool thing in mind what you're going to do to, like... I never know. got that far. I just want to be able to see. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. But I was thinking about it. Like, unrelated. 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 Like, you know, how people got, like... They're boner jams, which is, like, I guess easy to you, but, like, uh, I don't want to say boner jams, but, like, booty jams for, like, you know, uh, last night's uh, New Year's Eve. You got your you got your music and shit. So that would lead me to, like, think, I was like, man, there's got to be some really good albums from when we were growing up and just all time that we just really never thought about that were, that were just great albums from front to back that we've listened to multiple times and just never really thought about it. Like every song on the CD is like perfect, like no, all killer, no filler. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Sum 41, man. Yeah, I know. I, I know how you're a big fucking Sum 41 fan. Not at all. 
Oh. Alright, did you hear the, the fucking guitar player or whatever for Newfound Glory is engaged to Haley Williams? Really? Yeah. Like the current one or the former? The current one, I guess. Because they used to have two, now they have one. They ha- they needed two guitarists for all those intricate they, riffs. They had two guitarists for Newfound Glory up until this last album. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Why do you need two guitarists for that easy music? Because, dude. Shut up. I w- <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I would be in a pop-punk band like that. That'd be sweet. Oh, yeah. If it was still a viable way to make money, unfortunately. It is. No, it's not. What is viable? Uh, Riding shotgun with Taylor Swift. Fuck. Can I just be fucking Taylor Swift instead? I don't know, man. She's pretty crazy. But yes. <laughs> the answer is yes, you may fuck her. So, anyway, back to these fucking so-called the album? perfect albums. First yeah, of man. all, yeah. What's your what's like the album for you that like is the life changer? The life changing album. Like for it me. doesn't even have to be a perfect album. It's just the album that you heard uh, you heard and like pretty much after that it was like your meaningful awakening. Well, for me, it, it was both. Like uh, hands down, Slipknot's first uh, self titled CD with like Wade and Bleed and Surfacing and all that kind of stuff. Life changer, game changer. It got me into more music than I ever would have thought I would have liked before that. It was like, I, I can still remember, it was like a fucking like, summer of 8th grade and I heard the album and I just changed me musically like forever and I got into way more shit than I would ever thought I did. Heavier or, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I mellowed out over the years and I can listen to almost anything now, but it, it got me into music significantly more than anything else that I've listened to previously. How about you? Game changing album for me. Probably gonna have to go with uh, Skid Row by Skid Row. I mean, that's the first album I ever remember listening to. Back in to. your station wagon? No, just no. No, I wasn't that way younger than the station wagon days. I know, but we used to listen to that on tape all the time. Oh yeah, I love that shit. That album. That, that album. was that was just a fucking sweet album front to back. Yep. We knew all the words of like all the fucking songs. We did rock out quite a lot to that song. Some very. Very good times to be in Broken Street Station Wagon. Man, there's there's so many more albums that um I never really thought about. Okay, so what would you say like is your top five? Uh, I don't know about top five. Okay, not even top five. Like, just just off the top albums, of your head, what great albums. Some, yeah, what are some back? some I, like albums that you consider perfect, and why would you consider them to be perfect? Um, well, two instantly I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, Limp Biscuits, Significant Other. Yes, that's a that, very underrated. That that album is amazing. Like when it came out, everyone was all over that album. Yeah, like and now it's it's just like Vogue to hate that book yeah, or whatever. People people hate it just because it's popular and not like good. Yeah, but he did, was he did make a pretty fucking amazing album. There's not one bad song on that. Yeah, movie. I agree. Uh, Godsmack's first self-titled album, fucking amazing. Yeah, I know. Back. It's so good. They've been remaking it ever since. I know. Why would why do you need to change your album ever again? You just slightly change the chords on a couple songs and just keep repackaging it over and over and over. Much credit. Slightly change the chords. Yeah. He just changes the lyrics. He just also, have you heard the new, the new <laughs> yeah, Godsmack song? It's, it's been the same music for like the last 10 years. It's just different <laughs> words on the words. songs. <laughs> but like, have you heard? Even they released a song called Voodoo 2. Come on, man. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's like when McCloskey did the Unforgiven 2. Like, you can't write sequels to songs, man. Why not? <laughs> Why? They, they do it for movies. What's the difference? Yeah. It's just a continuation. Yeah. Fuck you. Mm. So where are you saying by Xbox? No, the Xbox, no. The new Godsmack song. Oh. It's terrible. Oh, really? Yeah, I, like... Wait, which one? The new one. The one that's like, where he's like, you don't ever have to speak to me that way. Or whatever. What? No, I like that song. I think it's dumb because, like, first of all, Soliota has never been intimidating. So him telling me not to speak to him in any particular manner... The dude's five foot three. He's five foot three and he's from Boston and he's I'll, fucking tough. I'll drop kick him. And I hate when he tries to get tough with me. Especially, I hate when people try to get tough with me over the radio, first of all. <laughs> like, don't you ever pussies. feel you need to speak to me that way? I'll be like, I'll fucking You're tell. supposed to think of yourself as him saying that. No, fuck that. I'll talk to that tell, dude. Tell him, no, it's not him <laughs> talking to you. I don't give a shit. The way I'm taking it is, first of all. <laughs> fuck you. First, of, first all, of all. <laughs> me and Stoliana are not the same guy. I haven't been rewriting the same album for the past 15 years. But. Frankly, we've only made greatest hits album for the last ten years. Yeah, every song, every album release is the new greatest hit. So, so it's always our new, the the new stuff is always the best stuff we've ever done. I think we actually have a rival now, uh, in in band terms. Uh, my one friend showed me this band, uh, called Kiss Control. Kiss Control. And they do covers really horribly, 
that would put us to sin. So we need to get on our fucking game and start actually making some of these songs. Yeah, let's up our fucking cover game, huh? Yeah, because these guys have been doing covers really poorly and putting us to shame. Do they have a bass player who's a dog, though? No, they don't. Good. Then let's they, go. They, cover, they covered a couple songs really awesomely terrible. Like, they did uh, Black Sabbath's Lewis and Things by Good Charlotte. Nice. They did uh, Avenged Sevenfold's... Um, God, what's that song called? Their first hit. Um, uh, Black Country? No, it was before that. Like their underground thing. Hit. No, this is their first hit. This is the first song anyone's oh, okay. ever hit. Anyway. Sorry. Okay. Anyway. But good album. Was it, was, it, was it when the guy had his different voice? Uh, what do you mean? Like his voice changed after he got in a throat surgery or whatever. I don't recall that. Yeah, now he has that terrible like, overly raspy voice and he can't sing. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound raspy at all. Yeah, that no, the voice you used to didn't sound raspy at all. Little raspy, yeah. to get a little going. Yeah, it does. Sounds like a race car. Yeah, it's just a you're a race car. Hey, the lead singer of Ben Sevenfold's a race car. I'm not saying I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like NASCAR because fuck you. I'm NASCAR. not. I'm not just, yeah, fuck NASCAR. It's not a sport. I don't yeah, care. It, Controversy on the most hated r- podcast. Ra- racing is not a sport. It's not a sport, and neither is fucking hunting. It's not a sport. Hunting's not a sport. If everybody who you can't just run There's up nothing and, athletic about it. First of all. It's not a sport if everyone who's involved doesn't know. Yeah, they're like, oh, we didn't know we were participating in this. Yeah, Maybe like, we would have tried to dodge these arrows and gun shells coming Yeah, if you, if you just come running up and tackle somebody, and like you can't just be like, we're playing football, bitch! Like, this is I not just got to tackle way. on somebody that didn't see it coming. Yeah, exactly. You can't like toss someone a ball and yell fucking smear the queer at them. I mean, this is in junior high. Yeah. Though that would be pretty funny. Like, just go to a public place and just throw a football at somebody and just tackle them. We should do that. Actually. Go, out, go out to the quad to ICU and just start tackling people. Okay. But anyway, back to music. Back to the awesome albums. So, what do you got? What's some awesome albums for you to get? Uh, some of my favorites. Uh, Hellbilly Deluxe by yeah. Rob Zombie. That's amazing. That That's album is fucking great. And uh, while we're in the zombie family, might as well do Tonight the Stars Revolt by Power Man Five Thousand. Yeah, that's a good concept back too. Yep. And then and the concept, everything about it was awesome. Like the late nineties. The concept albums have been sick. How come nobody does those anymore? I don't know, man. I really don't know. I that just made me think of. Which which uh, Fear Factory album or, or if any for you? I don't even know. Because they do, they do a lot of cop, uh, concept albums. The concept for Obsolete is like fucking amazing. I, I, honestly, that's probably the only one Front to Back I can say that I like. Yeah. And, I was, and like every song on there. I don't know. I like Transgression Front to Back too. But I, I think I had some weak. But it's not like a it's not a concept album though. It's like I, I think I had some weak points on it though. Yeah, I love for like, me anyway. I love every part of it. Uh, so here's one that we never thought of. Uh, I I eventually wrote it down. Uh, Lateralis by Tool. Uh, we yeah. never. Why didn't we think of any Tool because albums? Because I never think of Tool albums as being perfect. Really? Yeah. Why not? I love Tool. Why, I do. So you don't think they have a perfect album? Because like, it's it's Front like back. they'll hit on every song, and then there'll just be one song in there that I just can't listen to. Really? What yeah. song is that on Lateralis? Merkaba. Merkaba. Yeah. The fuck is that? It's a terrible song on fucking Lateralis. I can't even think of that. Yeah, that's that's the one I mean. Merkaba. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't think that's a song. It is. It's a song, dude. Shut up. I don't remember. All right, dude. Whatever. But yeah, yeah like okay. most, and I love most of that album for real. Like in terms of Tool albums, it has the most, like the biggest hit rate for me. Like fucking The Grudge, Lateralis, Parable, yeah. Parabola, Schism, Merkaba. Not one of the good songs on there. I don't think that's right. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think so. Track listing. There is nothing called Merkaba on here, bro. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Give me the track listing. It's not on there. Maybe it's on a different album. I never even heard of that song by them, ever. Or is it just a different name? You're uh, thinking something else. I think I'm thinking of something else. Oh, but the instrumentals I don't like. But I just don't like instrumentals. There's really nothing wrong with them. What do you them. mean? Like the like random songs that just sound for no yeah. reason? Yeah, I don't really... I mean, that's just part of the flow of the album. Yeah. But, uh... There's nothing called Mercado. Yeah, no. That's on a different album. I don't think it is. It is. I don't think so. It is. Nope. How do I search for these things? Yeah, do it. Where do you... You just want to look up two albums? Just type up Mercado. Just type the word Mercado in. Mer... I think it's M-E-R-K-A-D-A. But while you're doing that, uh, Mechanical Animals by... Uh, Ooh, yeah, I, I didn't think about I that. do love me... Uh, that's that, that? This... Um, maybe. Oh yeah, it's on survival, and I don't like it. Survival? Are you sure? Yeah. 
Hmm. I think it's because I, I I mixed that up because I had a CD that had uh, Light of Alice and Survival both on it. Okay. And that's probably why. I don't think I know that song off the top of my head. Yeah, it's not a good song. But yeah, I love Tool. Oh, yeah, that's a weird. That's not like a full album anyway. That's like a cover of my shit. So yeah. I don't, I don't think that's. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying like it was on the same thing, so I just okay. had it mixed in. But Tool, if they ever released a greatest hit CD, it probably would move up to the maybe be one of my favorite CDs of all time. I mean, just because those songs are so good. How about Dope Sound Like a Revolutionary Life or Dope Life? I'm I'm gonna give the edge to Life because. Okay. I love the songs on Silence Revolutionary. Too much vocal, vocal yeah, distortion? Yeah, too much vocal distortion. Too much wailing. Like, he didn't have enough faith in his singing voice at that time. How about this one? Typo Negative Bloody Kisses. Bloody Kisses, definitely one of those. But it was killed for me. So my favorite Typo Negative album right now is Dead Again. Okay. How about DMX, It's Dark and Hell is Hot? Mm, yes. That album is good. Plus Ad- the Edema Self-Titled. Edema Self-Titled, not a perfect album, okay. but a very good album. Disturbed the sickness. The first, their first album. Their first album. I think that was really yeah, good. Yeah, dis- I like. I like Indestructible too. I just that. really don't. The, on Disturbed's first album, I didn't like that little segue. And I don't remember what song it is because it's. I don't listen to Disturbed anymore. But when he starts talking about like his mom, like no, mommy, don't do it again. That, that's actually their mo- most popular song. Probably. Yeah, I know, but I hate actually that. Actually, called part. Down with the Sickness. I hate. I really hate that part of the song. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that part either. Uh, how about a Marshall Mathers LP? The yeah. one with like Stan and all that. Marshall kinda. Mathers LP definitely that was really a perfect good. album. And I'm not even a big fan of Eminem. I'm not even a big fan of hip hop. But, but that, that awesome album is album. good. If you cut out the skits on Eminem albums, yeah, there's they're just ruining it. But it's every rap guy because rap people also Why do they think always put they think they're hilarious. Oh, okay. They're like, not. They're, they're never not. funny. They're not. They're really not. Uh, Driving Pool's first album, Center. That uh, was a really good album. I don't know if I've ever heard it front to back, the whole mm-hmm. album, because I never owned it, but the songs off of it that I've heard are really good. Uh, this is kind of depressing that we forgot these albums. Um, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, but I, honestly, I like uh, I Wish You Were Here Better. Okay, fair enough. Uh, this one, I don't know why we didn't name it. A Perfect Circle, The 13th Step. Mm, because Murder Gnomes is better. See, I don't think so. I think that one's better. I think that uh, Murder Gnomes had more solid songs on it, and Thirteen Step was like trying. Okay, to let me let me say this about Murder Dino. Uh, Jake Jake killed it for you. Uh, no, my favorite song on there had no lyrics and was just Ren Holders. Ren Holders was really that was my favorite song, and it was just music. There was no words. I think my favorite song on there is either Magdalena or uh, fucking Sleeping Beauty. It used to be Sleeping Beauty, but it was like definitely. I used to like that was funny back in. Uh, High school when we tried to play that Three Libra song for the drink with, uh-huh. <laughs> and like put it on the first song. Yep, yep. That's funny. Uh, Adam Kreidner suggests Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. I think I had also brought that up, and being as I'm not a Linkin Park fan at all, that's a good album. Yeah, it is a good album, and Meteora wasn't that bad either. Linkin Park is always gonna put out solid albums. Although the the one album before the Hunting Party, I can't remember what mm-hmm. it was, but it had that. Uh, their last big hit on it was not good. I don't remember. Too much Mike Shinoda singing, and that also discourages me he about raps. the hunt. No, he sings. He needs to rap. Even even on the fucking new song, that revolutionary song with that has that sounds like a System of a Down song because it's got the guitar from System of a Down on it. Mike Shinoda sings on it. It's terrible. How about Green Day American Idiot? Green Day Dookie would be better. That yeah. Uh, my friend Marcus suggested uh, American Idiot was is a good album, but it's like. Pretty much when Green Day was like, "Fuck it, we're not. We're just gonna write pop songs now." See, I, I thought American Idiot yeah, was really good from front to back too. Yeah, it's a good album. It definitely but is. But I, I don't know if it's better than Dookie or not. What about Offspring Smash? Ooh, that's really good too. Yeah, Smash is a fucking legendary album. Yeah, that's that's definitely their best. Yep, that's like the the high uh, point of their career. This one I can't confirm, but Led Zeppelin Four. Ah, uh, that's not a big fan of Zeppelin. No? Another another more controversy on the podcast. I, I don't know. I really like Led Zeppelin songs, but I'm not sure what songs are on that CD, so I can't really say. I like it when people do remakes of Led Zeppelin songs. When the lovey breaks. Uh, I like No Quarter oh. by Tool a lot. Too. They do When the Lovey Breaks, too. Yeah, that's Perfect Circle. circle. Same I like thing. That too, yeah. uh, the self titled uh, Sublime album. Uh, my favorite is always going to be Rob in the Hood. Okay. But the all of, all the albums by Sublime are pretty decent, but they have a lot of a lot of filler in them too. Yeah. yeah. But like even the filler has turned out to be super popular because when 
It's like I call it the Nirvana syndrome when you only have. Um, a, a, I'm fuck Nirvana, dude. I'm so fucking. If I I could never listen to another Nirvana song ever again. And be happy. And be happy. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree. I, I've I've heard them. Yeah, but that's what I'm they're saying. They're so overrated too. That's what I'm saying though. Like, if you have only a limited amount Kurt, of stuff to pull from, yeah. Like the, the uh, even the shitty stuff, people like are like it has them. It's there. really good. Yeah. And Nir- Kurt Cobain's a top five guitarist of all time. No, no, he's, no, he's, he's not. You know, it's technically he's not proficient. Average. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, no more controversy. Just not a big fan. Which? which how about Rage Against the Machine? Do they have any? Rage Against the Machine. Well, I know that you're gonna. Their first album was good. The whole. I, I, I put the self-titled down. Self-titled that, was, that was my favorite. But like when I got into Rage Against the Machine, it was during Battle of Los Angeles. So that's all. That, that was a good album, but. I don't think it, for me it didn't have enough all the way but through. But also their fucking their rage the fucking uh, album with uh, all the covers on it is a fucking sweet ass album. I really like uh, that Rodeo song. Coming down Rodeo with a shotgun blast. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I like that one. Um, there's some been some other suggestions. Uh, I'll read some of these suggestions off to you. Okay. And you can give me a year or nay. Oh, wait, wait. Also, uh, What's Static X Machine. I got to give it that. Static okay. X Machine is one of my favorite albums of all time. Fair enough. How about Misfits, Famous Monsters? Um, I'm going to go on record as I love the Misfits. They don't have a perfect album. They don't because they're they not – their they're, they're genre, their show's genre and their lack of actual music ability makes it very hard. But yeah. I do really like a lot of the songs off of Famous Monsters. Definitely a lot more than American Psycho, but there are songs on American Psycho that are my favorite Misfits songs. Yeah, definitely no perfect album. Like for them, if, if, if you if you cut American Psycho and Famous Monsters put and together, put all the good tracks, yeah. you have one perfect Sick album. album. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure about this one. Maybe you can comment better than I can. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. That actually is an album that is kind of like legendary for its perfection. Like, if I'm not sure if I just farted and it smells really bad, or if you farted and it smells really bad. Great. Cause I farted and I just got a whiff of it. It smelled really bad. Oh no, I haven't farted. I farted on the podcast, everyone. It fucking does smell more, horrible. More controversy. <laughs> more controversy. <laughs> on the most hated podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say. Uh, and th- they made that album while they were fucking like getting divorced, and he uh-huh. hated her, and like he would sing his parts with her not there, so she wouldn't hear him talking shit on her like the whole time. Uh-huh. And she would sing the vocals and stuff he wrote about her, and she'd have to sing it about herself. But like. Uh, that, that's like one of those like the art through adversity yeah like sometimes the best stuff you make is when your back's up against the wall and it's like fucking you like I don't even want to fucking do this and shit. you just hate the hate that person and you just write all your songs about them mm-hmm. how about this one uh the Eagles Hotel California um if you like the Eagles a lot that I, is I definitely their best album okay uh The Doors their self titled album The Doors The Doors n- never have made a perfect album but their singles and all the like their big songs are really good but Wait, like what's the one with L.A. Woman? Is that their The Doors album? I don't think so. Or is that actually called L.A. Woman? Yeah, I think that's actually L.A. Woman. I think it came I'm out not sure later. if it is. I don't know. Man. But they, they're, they're one of those groups that, like, if they, their greatest hit CD is, like, one of the best CDs ever. But they have too many... God damn it! <laughs> There's too, many meand- too much meandering in their shit. Like, any any band that took a lot of drugs, it's hard to, like... They, their music, it just goes off on tangents that sometimes are not good. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Definitely. Appetite as far as I'm concerned, I don't think... They made another album after that, like Your Illusion, Your Illusion Two, but usually Illusion One and Two is spaghetti. I, 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 I don't know any songs off those other albums. I can't think of yeah, them. Yeah, you do. What what's off those? November Rain. What's off which one? Uh, Usual Illusion. I'm not sure if it smells like deal or a fart. And then uh, but it's not good. Uh, Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> you could be mine. Wait, are th- aren't those off uh Your Illusion Two? Mm-hmm. One and Two, yeah. I don't remember which one, but yeah. The greatest hit CD is probably the best. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's phenomenal. Like a lot of these bands, like like it's they if they've never released a perfect album, then when they get their greatest hit CD, it's it's, it's sometimes a clue. Like Stone Temple Pilots' greatest hit CD, I have that. Is amazing. Yeah. Like you don't realize how many great songs that they've had until you actually listen to it. You're like, holy shit. But uh, here's another one. Yes, how? ACDC, uh, Back in Black. ACDC, yeah, they're one of those bands that's been making the same album over and over, and that's when it kind of hit its zenith, mm-hmm. where it was like all their parts added up and like all their songs were just perfect. How about the Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die? Uh, I think Life After Death is his better album, mm-hmm. but Ready to Die is good. Dr. Dre, The Chronic. Yes. I don't, don't even tell you what song off that. Dre Day. Exactly. 
<laughs> I couldn't tell you. Uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets. Yes, but I also give. No. I'm gonna give their odd. Yeah, I, Black Album is definitely their best. It's album. their best album. Yes, and, and it's it's weird because it's the album that everyone like loved when it came out, and it is musically probably their best album. But it's the one that everyone hates now because of how mainstream it was. Uh, I'm I'm tired of hearing uh, that one song they always constantly play on the radio. Um, Inner Sandman. No, I actually never heard that song. I'm thinking of uh, hey, Wherever I May Roam. Yep. They play that shit out of that. Okay, quick rant. 96.7 is fucking terrible station. Yeah. All they play is songs from the 90s, and it's the same fucking 10 songs over and over. Yeah, no, I'm tired they play of, like nothing new. I'm so tired of grunge music right now. All, all, that, all that fucking 96.7 plays is like fucking yep. Eddie Vedder and like old Metallica songs and mm. uh, shit like that. It's fucking a garbage station. Yep. Fuck Matt Van Hand. I know he's... one of five seven. What? Matt Bayhan is 105.7. Oh, sorry. I meant 105.7 the whole time. Fuck but Matt. 96.7 is just as fuck bad. Fuck their whole music crew. They're, I don't know. 96.7 is a little bit better. Yeah, but, but they still play this a lot. Sucks. They play a lot. Uh, of straight up, 105.7, you fucking play shit music all the time. That's like 20 years old, and you claim, claim to be the new rock station. You never play anything fucking new. Fuck you. Oh, okay, ran over. All right. Um, 50 Cent, The Massacre. I would. I like a few songs on the album. I wouldn't say it's a masterpiece. Yeah, though. Fifty Cent. I, I like Fifty Cent. So whatever. I don't. I don't know if he has it in him to make a perfect album, though. I don't think so. Did you I, know he's dating Chelsea Handler? Yeah, look at that shit. That's crazy. And she's been showing like her tits like at all opportunities now. I know. Like purposely doing it for like Instagram. They won't let him show like nipples. But they'll let him do like everything else apparently on Instagram. Hmm. But yeah, she's been showing her titties a lot. That's pretty good. I know. Not interested. She's too weird to yeah. like be. She's not hot. She's not ugly. She's just not hot either. She, she just. She just. She's like, like a funny. She's kind of funny, but I don't know. She's just not attractive. I don't know why. There's, she doesn't look weird or anything. It's just, I don't know. And that's really weird for you to say that. Like, I just think that, that she smells funny. Like just looking at her pictures, she smells funny. Just how she smells. Yeah. What do you think she smells like? Funny. Like Chipotle. Yeah. Like the cheese cheese at Chipotle? Yeah, like at like the restaurant Chipotle, not the yeah. pretzels. Yeah, you like get down there and you're like... Man, you didn't use some Doritos. Yeah, I'm like, I'm strangely not sexified. You know, like, I, well, I love to eat Mexican food, but I don't want my girlfriend's coochie to smell like a fucking burrito. Yeah, how do you spell coochie? Uh, the way I spell it? <laughs> yeah, how do you spell C-O-O-C-H-I-E. it? C-O-O-C-H-I-E. See, I put a T in there. You put, like, coochie? <laughs> yeah, I, I put C-O-O-T-C-H-I-E. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people do without the T, but I put the T in there. Cause it sounds better like coot, like coot, coot. Yeah, it sounds like you put a T in there. Tony Coot Coach. <laughs> <laughs> He's the biggest betrayal of that. <laughs> Why does he have a mustache? Because yeah, I have yellow lipstick on. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember you doing that last time. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, Matt Norman suggests Five Finger Death Punch, American Capitalist. Okay, first of all, uh, the album's called American Capitalism, so he can't even get the name of the album right, so it's definitely not a perfect album. <laughs> Also, a write in. Uh, Ken suggests the Pat Benatar Heartbreaker 14 times. Oh, that's the best album, <laughs> period. Like, that's the, that's, that may be the most influential album of my life. <laughs> hey, I like this song. Wait, what's it playing again? Why and does again, this keep playing? And again. <laughs> um, I don't know this. Anti flag for blood and empire. I don't know that. I yeah, don't know that uh, punk punk is just not indicative of having perfect albums. Definitely, punk doesn't have perfect albums. That's yeah. for sure. Asking Alexandria, mm, their first CD, Stand Up and Scream. It's good. It's not perfect. It's album. not perfect. Um, motionless and white, infamous. I love I motionless and white. I don't, definitely don't have. I don't a think they have a perfect album nope. either. And they might may, may one day, but that I just don't think they do. It's just not them. Uh, bring me the horizon, Simp Eternal. I don't know for sure. I but would Simp say, Eternal is I a good album. I would say Bring Me the Horizon. It's a good album, but I don't know. Is it good all the way through? No, th- there's too much. There's too many times that, that their music just composition wise gets really bogged down. It, it's just it sounds really cluttered a lot. Yeah, it's it's really overloaded. Like their music is too really, much. It, too much stuff. I, w- I, I also another suggestion for me. Uh, this is definitely not a perfect album, but one that I love every song front to back. Fucking bury your dead, bury your dead. Yeah, well, this is our opinion, so mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be. Yeah, no, but I mean, I mean, I look, no, I know that it's not a perfect album, though. Oh, but you still. But like, I, it, like every song on it's good to me. What uh, another su- suggestion is Slipknot Subliminal versus I disagree. Yeah, I think the only one they have perfect 
uh, front to back is the first one. Yep, and it's That's crazy because I <laughs> Corey Taylor had nothing to do with writing. Yeah. But a lot of people dig their newer albums way more, and I completely I, disagree. I When they started turning to Stone Sour, yeah. I was like, I don't get it. Yeah, the structure of the first album, the structure-wise is so because good. Because it was chaotic. It, it was really chaotic. It, yeah, and but, the, but the chaos made sense. But now the chaos doesn't feel like it flows right when they do do that. And it does sound way too much like Stone Sour. Some of them, not all of them. A lot of them. That's your opinion. Dude, you come on, shit. though. It's Dude, the the, the Devil and I definitely could be a fucking Stone Sour song. No. Yeah, the only thing the only thing is is there's a little bit more excessive drumming on it. That and that's what separates it. Yeah, but that's it. And now they don't even have Joey. Yeah, they don't have Joey or the original bass player, obviously, since he's dead. They yeah. lost two members. See that I appreciate what Joey did. Joey's really good. Because Joey was like, I can't do Slipknot anymore because my best friend died. Yeah. It'd be like me trying to soldier on with the podcast if he died. You're gonna have to get like 20 people. In yeah, I wouldn't stuff. even do it. Like, I just would not. Just be like on your people, like drumming, like. Dude, if you died, I probably would never even watch wrestling or play wrestling video games anymore, because yeah. that's our thing. Yeah, probably not. All right, uh, great, Malen- great Malenko by Insane Clown Posse. I think he doesn't have a good album. I think that that Great Malenko is their best album. It's almost a perfect album. If you listen to it, it's re- it's you good. You white trash motherfucker. I know, dude. I'm not even a juggalo, but I gotta give it up to that album. That album's really what? good. Which you just get revved by like twenty dudes. I do, and I have floppy juggalette titties. <laughs> oh god, is there actually a hot juggalette? Chick? And I can like they're lift, all like fucking. I can like lift up my titties. Flop, and they're, they're, like all, dirt. they're all floppy titties, dude. Yeah, I don't, dude, juggle, like, there's no hot juggalette chicks, but it's like uh, hot chicks in cosplay at Comic Con. They're not really into comics, but they really like dressing up. Yeah. So it's like that. Like they're like, oh, I like clowns. I'm like. <laughs> I like clowns. No, they're more fucking weird and twisted. Yeah. Shit. In on hot way, I'm like, I'm supposed to like the weird twisted shit. Dude, also you. weird shit right now. Twisted, the band that you know, Galavant's on with Insane Clown Posse, released a tribute to Wayne Static. Like they were all like super tight or something. Really? Yeah. I was like, that's weird. Specifically, that Twisted would do that. Hmm. That is weird. Yeah, because uh, when I saw that, I was like, wait, Twisted did that? Why? Oh, well, that's cool. What about uh, like some lesser known, uh, like a uh, Papa Roach Infest? Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. I like that one front to back. Yep, that's good. Out, dude. Papa Roach is that is a band that everyone hates. Like they're like Nickelback. Every, everybody, no one thought they were gonna make it as long as they have. And they're, 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 and they're the ones that are around still getting hits. Yeah, and nobody else is. Yeah, like that. all the bands that like had the huge devout following back then. Now they they don't even really exist. And the, uh, but when Papa Roach puts out an album, they put out that song Fear, and it's like fucking rapidly with the top the Hot 100. Yeah, um, that face everything to, and rise. Like, who is still alive? That's kind of big nowadays. Is well, you gotta think that this is like the the late nineties. These are bands that came in the late nineties, the new metal. No one's like Slipknot is still around. They okay. came in that, that in that whole nineteen ninety nine era. Corn. Well, Corn is like from ninety two, but I mean they've been pushing it for a while. Well, they didn't get big till uh, yeah. Follow the Leader came out. Yeah, Life is Peachy is almost kind of their breakthrough. Even though Life is Peachy is their worst album, I think. Hmm. Like, I, there's no really standout songs on Li- Life is Peachy to me. Adidas, I guess. That's probably it. Uh, I don't know. I, w- I would put Corn on the new metal. Yeah, oh, they're a new metal. They, they're the propagators of the genre. It seems like they came out with, with Limp Bizkit at the same time. Like, well, that, no, no, that they, mainstream. Yeah, because, yeah. well, Limp Bizkit, like, was with them because yeah. they brought them up. Like, that yeah. whole time it was Corn, uh, Coal Chamber was, like, the new metal, but they were more gothy instead of hip hop influenced. Limp Bizkit, Deftones, Slipknot. Uh, Papa Roach, uh, Dope and Static X came out at that time. Like yeah, they, they weren't. Ex- yeah, they were, like it's just like it's different aspects of the new metal thing. But Static X was big with Wisconsin Death Trip. They went platinum. Yeah, Dope never had the chance. Their breakthrough no. album would have been Life, but the they handled the pl- the record label handled it wrong, and it fucking they didn't sell shit off yep. that album. That could have been a huge album. Is Marilyn Manson? Considered that from that time period too. No, he was out before that. He's more like he's more of a standard rock guy, but he tried to become new metal mm. for a little bit. That's what Mechanical Animals was, was his like weird experimental phase. That's why I like it so much. Mm. It's really industrial influenced. Who else is from that time period? Lincoln Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came out in that. Hmm. There's like a myriad bands that we're forgetting. 
I think it's more of a case we'll only remember the good ones. We're not remember the ones who. Yeah, but like it. even out of those bands that we all named, how many of them are still like putting out fucking records that are selling a lot, like Papa Roach is. Probably, and, probably and Papa Roach is the band that like seriously that no everyone one hated. They hated. Like the, the, you think so? Yeah, like people really? like people, they were like the the butt of jokes. Papa Roach. Really? Yeah. And, uh, I think probably them and Linkin Park are probably the ones really selling albums anymore. Corn still sells albums. They just had that huge hit last year. Slipknot, obviously. Yeah. Probably like four of them still sell albums. Yeah. Limp Biscuit doesn't sell albums. Deftones does. But Deftones, no, they did. Their last two albums went platinum. That's platinum 10 million? No, a million. Which is in, in crazy impossible. The, the highest selling album this year only sold 3 million. Is it Taylor Swift? Yeah. Does it does that take into account uh, iTunes and shit? Yeah, it, only if it's full album downloads, not individual songs. See, so there's probably been a lot of individual songs purchased for everybody. Yeah. So, but and plus with Spotify and shit like that, where you can play individual songs, I'm against that kind of stuff. They get paid for it. I I don't know, but I don't. I think you should just buy the music, and not rip it off or anything like that. Like I like Taylor Swift. I'm not gonna lie. I like Taylor Swift. Like her music. <laughs> I like some of her songs, obviously, with her singles. I like won't like all of them, obviously. Yeah. Like I don't like "Shake It Off." I think it's. I hate that song. Thank you for bringing that up. I fucking and, uh, that, that that we are never getting back together ever ever song. Yeah. Or whatever. We are never. Yeah, when did she used to be a country singer? On on her earlier shit. Cause I, she's not. Her, her earlier songs are better than her new poppy. I know, songs, but in my she, opinion. she's not at all a country singer anymore. I know she's not. She's one hundred percent pop. But now. she still wins like national awards. awards. Yeah. I know. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't make any sense. Hmm. They keep doesn't they you know, Chewbacca is a Wookiee. What about what? I'm trying to think of some other because like we we're we're obviously skewed more towards the metal side of things. <sighs> no. I but really get but it. what about like fucking Instinct, no strings attached? Why? That album. What is that? Probably for other people probably a great album all the way through. Yeah. And there's some I like Instinct and Backstreet Boys. Like they're not all their singles, but a fair amount of singles were actually really good. Yeah, like and I'm trying to think of like, like because I've never owned one of their CDs, so I don't know if the rest of the songs on the CDs are any good. But the singles were always good. The singles were always like hits. So I don't know, like what, I'm not whether whether you fucking hate them or not, the singles. They sold. They yeah, when, when, when you get old enough, like, you don't have to be a fucking... You have to be like, they're gay. Yeah, it doesn't like, fucking you can, matter. You can fucking real recognize real. Yeah, like, at some when, point. When, when you get old enough, it's just like the 80s. Like, everyone hated the music, like, the gay music in the 80s. Yeah, they're like, this is so fucking But now gay. everyone listens. Like, no. like everybody used to hate on Def Leppard. They're like, oh, you're a pussy. Yeah. Like them. But now everyone's now like, you fucking can, like, Def Leppard, man. Yeah, they used to fucking rock. Yeah, like, no one listens to the, the, the metal and shit from the 80s, really. Like, like ironically, maybe, but everyone's always listening to like the dance music from the '80s and the fucking pop shit. That at the, that like, if you liked it at the time, you were a huge douche. Yeah. But like now, it's cool to like it. And I think that, that like the '90s is coming back. Like a uh, fucking the Backstreet Boys, that Backstreet Back song. Like it, it's it's back cool. Back it's all right back to back like back it, back you know. Back so, back back but I don't know if they've had any perfect albums the whole way through. Yeah, I can't tell you that for sure, but. Like, a lot of those bands, whether it was, like, cool to hate them back in the day, they made their money. They did what they did. Oh, yeah, like Nickelback. You know? Most hated band in the world. Nobody admits to liking Nickelback except but for e me. But everybody fucking has one of their albums, I guess, because they always... Funny funny story. Uh, I like Nickelback. Everybody knows that. I don't own a Nickelback album. I, I have only bought the singles that I've liked. Yeah. But, like, all these other people are like, I hate Nickelback, and, like, you go over the house and they have a Nickelback album. Yeah, I, oh, I, I know a lot of people who own Silver Side Up. Oh, isn't that first one? No, it's the second one. It was their big breakthrough oh, album, okay. though. Yeah, I don't know. I I like some of their songs, so whatever. Well, I said, I like somebody, that. Somebody has to like their music, because yeah, they they're sold a shit ton. Yeah, they, and they always do. At, at one point, well, they I mean, maybe they still are, they were on Roadrunner, which is a heavy metal label, and they were, like, Crossing everybody. Yeah, they, they, they were pretty much. It's them and Slipknot letting all the other shitty people like make money. Make money, yeah. Yeah, because they could afford to sign other shitty bands, but try to make it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so like, it's not cool to like hate. So like, Spice Girls, Spice. What about that? Is that a perfect album? I don't even know. I'm yeah, just throwing. I'm just throwing out suggestions of like albums I remember being huge. Yeah, I would say probably not. What about Chumbawamba? I have that album. But is the album perfect? 
I know you liked the album the whole way through. I, I used to, I don't know if I still do or not, but I used to like the album the whole way through, but I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, um, because I remember you, you were playing it one day, and it, it just didn't really tickle my fancy. It didn't seem like they had enough strong songs. It, 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 it could be like a nostalgia thing. I, I don't know. I haven't listened to it the whole way through in a long time. Bands like that, that are kind of like... But when I was really, like, in that age, when they were popular, I we could listen to the album the whole way through. So. It, it's just like, I think it's, it's like a... Trap for bands who are like one hit wonders. Bees in the trap. Bees in the trap. Some of them motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. A bees in the trap. Bees in the trap. Fuck Nicki Minaj. I would. I would fuck the shit out of Nicki Minaj. I like Nicki because she likes white guys. Yep. Dirty, scurvy white guys just like us. I don't know about that. <laughs> her boyfriend looks like fucking he could hang out with us. Who's her boyfriend? I don't remember his name, but I've seen him at an award show together and he had like a beard and a hoodie on and shit. And he was just like a regular dude. I think it's the style of boys right now. It's like beards and hoodies. I can't grow a beard. Yeah, you're a douche. You can't grow a mustache I can properly. Grow, I can grow a hoodie. <laughs> you can grow a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I can grow a hoodie. <laughs> hoodie down? Nice. Hey, I'm a douche. I heard he's actually making it. Like trying to like get popular. Nice. Like legitimately. Well, who he was feuding with somebody. Fabulous, I'm gonna kill you. Then Ray J went straight to the video. Like, Fab, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I don't what about uh, Nas Illmatic? I don't know, but that Nas New York State of Mind is fucking awesome song. That song is like legitly. Yeah, Nas. Wu Tang cool. Cream, that song is really fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, Wu Tang 36 Chambers might be a perfect album. I don't know. It's really good. That song is awesome. But then they probably had they had so many like scrubby albums. Yeah. Well, they have so many scrubby members. <laughs> they do have some grimy ass people in there. Hard to say. I don't know, man. Who else? Like, I'm trying to think of other bands that were really popular back in the day that had like big albums. I don't know if I can remember some of them. I'm trying to think of albums that everybody owns. Like that I know everybody. Owns. Every. Or actually, just whatever. Everybody had hot dog. Uh, limb biscuits. Yeah, Hot but that, they water. only got that because it was the follow-up to Significant Other, and Significant Other was okay. so huge. Yeah, fair they're enough. They're like, it's going to be good. And, like, actually, uh, My Generation like, and Rollin', when they came uh, out, were, like... Like, a couple, of, like, more than that, there was, like, actually four or five songs on there. That no, I'm talking about, like, really when, when it first came out to build okay. anticipation okay. for the album. Fair enough. But there was, like, four or five songs on there that were, like, really fucking good. Oh, yeah, that, that, that like, album's good. It's not as good as Significant Other, but yeah. it is the natural progression of where they would be going musically, you know? But then the fucking ra- it came off the rails like too much drama like fucking Fred Durst's douche ass personality. Apparently he's a big douche. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's true or not. He seems like it. Like mm-hmm. I don't know him personally, but he definitely puts forth that image. Yeah, Hot Dog Flavor Water was definitely a. I had it. I had the. I had bought. I had to buy it twice. I bought bought it once at Kmart and I thought it was the unscripted version of a sensor. And you're like, fuck. And you can't take back that shit. Nope. I had to buy it again, so I had I bought it twice. I had a two. I actually I owned three dollar bill, y'all. I, I never owned, got that one. I owned, was that was that any good? It's okay. It's way more rappy than Rocky. Significant mm. Other is when they kind of found their balance. Then I had Significant Other, which obviously changed everyone's fucking perception. Because for a while, Limp Biscuit was the biggest band in the fucking world. Whether or not anyone really? remembers that, they were the biggest. Oh, what it was like right as Significant Other was getting really popular, uh-huh. and like they had that like or whatever that like set them off I don't remember it was like the Family Values tour apparently that was like really huge that year yeah. like the most famous one for whatever reason yeah that's what, uh, what that actually lineup was pretty epic it was fucking Corn, Limp Bizkit Ramstein uh, Ice Cube uh, Orgy I think wow yeah, it was actually a fucking that is pretty good yeah what about Orgy did they have a fucking perfect album um yeah uh their first one was Candy Ass yes Candy Ass what was the second album? Was that with Stitches? Yeah. No, that's Candy Ass is also Stitches. Oh, had, had Stitches and Blue Monday. Candy, uh, Vapor Transmissions had uh, Fixed and Dreams and Digital and uh, Opticon. That was their short album, wasn't it? No, that's Punk Static Paranoia. Mm. That was their shorter album. <laughs> nice, nice sunglasses, bro. What are you, David Caruso? Yeah! <laughs> no, actually, I'm David Carradine. David Carradine, you hung yourself, autoerotic asphyxiation <laughs> style. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I feel so. Uh, I can't stop coming. <laughs> That's awesome, probably. 
that you buy it like in one and take it like yeah that's a, I can't buckets like you fucking <laughs> suffocate yourself while you're fucking like that sounds terrible although I've been with a couple chicks who are really into the choking thing so I don't know oh yeah uh, name them podcast name them right now yeah name them right now no <laughs> last time I named names I got in trouble <laughs> you got caught up in the mix yeah uh, I got yelled at bad I have to use assumed names who uh who got yelled at last time or who yelled at you uh oh yeah uh, can I say? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Carrie yelled at you. Yeah, so did Emily. Yeah, Emily did too. And like, we didn't even say nothing bad about her. We're just saying that she had the shitty choices of men. Oh shit! Mm. I'm gonna put this on blast. I don't give a shit. This is awful. Okay. Fucking okay, Emily broke you, up with you her. New information that I don't know about. Yeah, I think you do know, but oh, okay. I, the world doesn't. Oh. But Emily was dating Justin Krolak. Okay. And she went to prison, and she dumped Justin Krolak, and now she's in prison with Justin's sister Samantha Krolak. Lesbian now and they're lesbian together. Well, they're yeah, they're soulmates, right? Yeah, I know, but like, like she called at Christmas time, I guess, and told the family that they're together. I dumped your brother from your sister. Yeah, and she's married. His name's Krolak. Yeah, I'm trying. I think I might remember what she looks like, but she. I remember her being trash. But I don't know. I'm just weird. Yep. In prison. What was she in prison for? Drugs, probably. Yep, drugs. What's up with everybody in prison for drugs? I don't know. They just keep getting caught. I haven't ever been caught for me selling drugs. All the drugs I sell on the Most Hated Podcast. <laughs> Actually, we're selling them right now. You yep. just don't like. You don't know, know that we're doing because you can't see what. Yeah, we're doing. we use editing t- techniques to edit out the, the the sales we do. That's pretty crazy, though. Let's see, more perfect albums. I know there's got to be more, man, because music is. Who likes being shit? That's what. That's what I'm fixated on now. You said two. Yeah. Two, two of all the shits or just two that you can recall? Actually, off? actually, it's three. Three. Three that are really into it. Can I try to guess them? Yeah. And you can, like, nod to me. Okay. If, if, if but but if, if, if I nod or shake my head, you can't be like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I knew it! Like, <laughs> but I, I think I am going to know it, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I'm going to react that way. Yeah. So you have to lie to me. Right. <laughs> I'm going to laugh anyway because I'll probably be right. Yeah. Like, Fuck but th- it's not me saying it then, though. It's not okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, one of them is definitely your most recent ex for sure. Yeah. Um, if I had a guess, I would say Anita might be into that. No, really. She just likes to just getting it pounded. Yeah. Um. Carrie. No. Um. Emily. Wow. Yep. Good job, man. But have you tried it on though? Yeah. They they suggested it. No, I was. Just, or you just kind of did. What you do? You put the hand up around the throat and then they'll say like nod and do it and just don't. Okay. Yeah. Two out. Oh, two more. Are any of them recent or a while ago? A while ago. Um. The girl we saw at the restaurant earlier. Okay. Um. That one girl works at Walmart. That I always see and text you and mm-hmm. um blazing pink butthole yeah Fe- feathered wife yeah <laughs> one more is this a is this this isn't even a girlfriend this is just a, all right someone I used to fuck <laughs> what was that <laughs> I don't know I, I was trying to like uh, uh th- was it the one your dad also got. Scabitha? Yeah. She, actually, she might have been into it. I don't know. I don't remember. Then no. Not but her. she's not the one I was thinking of. Who was she dating? Was she the stripper girl? No. I, she was the chick that I told you that I would hook you up with, but you're like, I don't bang, bro. I don't follow my boys. Oh, uh, God, what's your name? Um. Shit. I know this. If you tell me, I'm gonna know it. Like, Angie. Obvi- yeah, Angie. Okay. Uh-huh. God, I knew that one. What's her last name? I forgot. Goodman. There we go. I knew I fucking knew that shit. Yeah, of course she's in a fucking choking. Were you, ba- were you banging Jamie Kelly too? No. Jane Kelly or whatever. No. Name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've banged Caldwell? some. Caldwell. Oh wait, no, that's Ken. Ken banged Caldwell. Yeah, I've I've banged some. Uh, Instead of blue, blue and Fucking Ken, Ken banged goddamn Tina. But he's been able to make it. I know. But didn't she just say that he was? So that way we know it's true because the girl's not going to lie. Yeah, girls don't lie about this. Like, first of all, he's not nothing to brag about. I love Kelly. Yeah. But if I was a chick, I would deny it to you. 
the, the fact that she was out there saying she did. Alyssa? Yeah, Alyssa definitely did not vouch for it. In front of him, you know. I mean, it might not have. Yeah. Like, 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 it'd be different if it was someone that he, we would never meet casually in real life. But it seems to be a common theme lately of people, like, saying they fuck people then, like, getting busted out on Uh-huh. That's funny. Hmm. Funny when you trust someone's dreams like that. Have you ever seen Alyssa's dreams? When you try to trick on her? No. Did she, like, she probably be a dick. She probably would be. She's a real freak. She's, she's did she, fun. Didn't she, didn't she live with Megan and Kenya? Kenya Jones? Yeah. And they they make a lot. They're still doing you got a free for it. Yeah. They, I mean, they make a lot. Like, they were together for a while. Really? Uh-huh. Now she's with Jake Springer. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with Jake. Like, I no, I like Jake. He's like, a, I, he, I he was always him. nice to me. Mm-hmm. So. He's just, he just a weird dude. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't seem like the type to get any kind of chick. Like, it was, look, looking back on this, I wonder, like, what, who, uh, or what Carissa has been, because she had, like, a huge thing for Jake, and I don't know if they ever fucked or not, but maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but that, I don't know, like, if, if she got into other weird guys and started doing drugs because of him, I don't know if she's ever done any drugs ever. No, I, can't, I can't confirm that or not. Yeah, I don't either. Sure. I just don't know. I, I, I'm, I know, I'm pretty sure she drinks, but... Yeah. We're fucking this old, who fucking cares? Yeah, Not plus in Pontiac, of course, everyone fucking drinks in Pontiac. But, like, I wonder if that, like, ever led her to do, like, any, like, weird shit. I mean, she obviously had to be kind of weird to date Springer. Yeah, I remember when she got into Camara a lot, too. Whatever happened to them? They weren't good? Yeah, I know, but, like, I remember for a while, everyone liked them, and then, like, they just disappeared. I think it's Shadow's fault, too. Yeah. Pam Taylor? No, I'm not a big Pam Taylor. Did they ever Album all, all the way through. I don't know. I don't know. I think that one album I forgot what it's called. Vulgarity Slayer of Power. Probably the Great Southern Sun Kill. No, no. no. Reinventing the Steel. That's the worst album. Yep, dude. I'm just not a fan, Pantera guy. Like, they just slid. Yeah, and another more controversy. We all we do is controversy on the Most Hated Podcast. No, you do controversy. I do real. Real sharpens real. I hate. Or I don't more. like Dimebag Daryl as a guitarist. Really. His solos always break the flow of the song. They never go with the song. The song will be Why going does it matter? because a solo is supposed to be an extension of the song. But like, it's always like the song's going, it's all good, and all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's how I remember most of them sounding. Like now, that now that you've done that, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> like I, I, I'm no, go back and actually listen to them, and they sound like that. they do. It's like it's very jarring most of the time. Like he does have some good stuff, and technically he's a good guitarist. <laughs> just can you do that again for me? Hold on, let me, let me, let's, let's do do the rhythm for Cemetery Gates. Yeah, but it's only one guitar, so it's like him just doing it. So yeah. you would have to do the that into the solo. Yeah. Can you do the vocals too for that part where he yells Gates? Like Gates! <laughs> Nailed it. it. <laughs> Count that one up. Perfect album. Lesbian Kruka. I'm just gonna leave this up here all day. Yep. It's so so pretty. I mean Lesbian Kruka has like ten perfect albums, but yeah. it's not fair to count them. Yeah, you will just always win every category then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Best female vocalist, always. We need, to do a, <laughs> we need to do a reverse award sometime. Like the worst? Yeah, like that you say they're the best. A reverse award. Like whoever you think is the best, but they're actually like the shittiest. A reverse award. Why don't we do that right now? I don't know. We actually have to come up with topics and shit. Like. Yeah, come up with the topics. Like, I want an example. Hard. No, I just want an example. So, because I'm like, not, I'm not quite getting it. Like, okay. Uh, most alive uh, TV personality, like cate- not me, Joan Rivers and shit. Like oh, that. okay, okay. So <laughs> most alive person, but then like the the really fuck it up. You blatantly name somebody who is alive, but you claim yeah. them as dead. <laughs> yeah. Like somebody who hasn't been seen in a while. Yeah, like I don't know if this guy's actually dead or not, but he might as well just be considered dead in the reverse award. Like best heavy metal vocalist, and then like like Yo Yo Ma or something. Yo Yo Ma. Yeah. Is that, wait. Or is he just a musician? Now I think of. I don't know. Yanni. Yeah. Rod Blagojevich. And, and like shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you randomly throw people that like don't fit in the topic at all. 
because it's the opposite of what it is. Okay, that's cool. We can do that sometimes. Like best album of the year, and you just pick some of the shittiest ones you've heard that year. I haven't really heard that many albums this year. Me neither. Like well, I'm, the, I'm just saying. I know, but I'm, if we if we did that, like I don't know if I could. Like I would actually have to name a good album as a bad album because I haven't heard any albums. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We would just pick a bunch of different. The only albums I've heard all the way through that are new this year, I heard Starset Transmissions, which is actually a good album. Like, uh, there's there's one for the Reverse Awards that was like, uh, best film dog. It was between Cujo and Airbud. <laughs> <laughs> Cujo. Air Airbud won with fifty percent of the vote. That's or fifty four percent. That's yeah, bullshit. Air, Bu- Air Bud was indeed better. But than we Cujo. should come up with those topics and put them on Facebook and let people vote, and we can do that as a little side. We just name them off. Yeah, could easily do that for That'd future. Because be the next podcast, we actually have to get our guests here. Yeah, we have to have we gotta have two guests. Yep. We if, even if, have more if Patches shows. You know, for dramatic effect, I just took off my sunglasses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I really want a girl to be on the podcast for that episode. Yeah, for the the virginity, the virginity cast. Yep, they're gonna share tales about how we fucking would be flowered. I really want like a girl who's funny to be on there. Yeah, like I don't really know that many girls. We need a female perspective. I wouldn't invite anyone that I've slept with because it would all be it's all too depressing. Your first time? Yeah. It's gonna be all like he busts in like three seconds and that was it. Yeah. I don't wanna hear about that. I wanna hear like a Tell act- me about the second time then I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like the build up I just everything. don't wanna hear about any any of them talking about fucking one of us. Yeah. So Thank God I don't fuck virgins, huh? Good job. Skate Slayer! Ko-ching! Why'd you pull a pocket knife out of your fucking pants? Sorry. Is that representation of your small penis? Mm-hmm. Actually, I just mm-hmm. used the, mm-hmm. co- the corkscrew mm-hmm. attachment for my Swiss Army knife. <laughs> <laughs> the toothpick? The, the fucking pigtail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have two guests lined up for the next podcast. Yep. That'd be pretty I- cool. If Patches shows, he, does, he doesn't seem to want to talk on a podcast. I'm afraid. Yeah. I don't know what the big thing is. I neither. He's he's engaging. I like talking to Pat. What so. if what if we get the the girl on instead and get oh. and get her to do it? What if I could get her? To yeah, do but it? that's that's our thing. That'd be really awkward. We man. don't want to hear about one of our boys. I want I want to hear about I don't know I want to hear about her. <laughs> I know you do, but uh, yeah I don't know. That'd be sweet. I'm trying to think of some chicks we could get on. That aren't like annoying. Yeah, that would actually like be like ha- talk, have a good story to tell. Like, and not us just do all the talking, and they wouldn't be like over. And also, they wouldn't have like a really sad story. Like, like yeah, I was date raped. You know, stuff like that. You know, that that's not getting first time didn't know. That doesn't count. Yeah, but that's losing your virginity. Technically, it's sad. I know, but and that's it's sad. But we live in we live in an that? area. Okay, yeah, when you actually gave it up and you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Like like I don't know. High school or whatever, whenever you go off to. Yeah. Junior high, probably, for a lot of chicks around here. Honestly, that would not shock me. But, man, that would be really hard. I don't really know that many girls who would do that. And nope. nobody would probably hear about it anyway. Yeah. We could just lie about their name. Yep, you can use an alias. Yeah, you, you could be like, yeah, your name's fucking Jenna James or something. I bet Jenna James is a real person. She might still be a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I was thinking more like Jenna Jameson. I know, I know what you were thinking. But, but I just... Stopped at that. I like, just remember Jenna James. Just pick a fucking porn star name. I don't give a shit. Because Jason Green and had like a huge crush on her and oh. stuff. Because she was. You give her a boy name and it wouldn't fucking matter. Yeah. This is our friend, fucking Scott Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald. Hey everyone. Um. It's like guys. I'm gonna put my dick in her. <laughs> she, she's actually uh, a gay man. Yep. She's gonna talk about the first time she got. Some brain, some some dome. <laughs> yeah, brain or dome. We need to know. Yeah, that's 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 a question. Do you call it brain or dome? Yep. If I think that you call it dome because brain makes it sound gross. I think brain in response to the Hummer sounds better. Then you get yeah, but not if you're Gucci Mane getting raped in prison. Ooh, ass beater. I wonder if that's real. I don't know. I don't really care either way. I'm gonna accept it as real. I know it's funny though because if it did happen, yeah, his career as a rapper is over. What if what if it wasn't <laughs> rape and he wanted it? I know, but either way. Career as a rapper over. He could be like Gangsta Licious. Or fucking, uh, who was the other guy? Twisted G, the gay fuck? rapper who said that he used to be a drug dealer and he would make people suck his dick so they wouldn't go to the cops. Wait, why wouldn't they still go to the cops? Because then, like, if you go to the cops, you'd be like, this nigga suck my dick. <laughs> so? And then, like, then they. Who fucking be, cares? They, they do about the rap. 
I don't know. Sometimes it gets back to the street and you gotta suck some dude's dick. Yeah, but he's like, no, that didn't happen. But he would put it down in his official police report. So? So? Then it Doesn't make it true. Legally, it would happen. He could, like, he lied on their oath. About making a guy suck his dick? Yeah. I, I would have my lawyer specifically ask about that question <laughs> under oath. I need that to be removed. Yeah. Then if then if they're like, yeah, I didn't do it, they're like, lie to detector test. Well, it's like Ryan's thing with uh, getting in a fight. Like, after you beat someone up, you can put the shit on them mm -hmm. so that they won't go to the cops. And if they go to the cops, you can be like... You beat me up and put the shit on me. Yep. <laughs> put the shit on me. Like, you wouldn't... If it goes in there, he's like... Oh no, he just beat me up. That's it's like, worse. Did you tell him I took the shit on you? <laughs> yeah, after I kicked your ass, I took a shit on you, dude. Yeah, so I just admitted to it. That happened. I took a shit all over you. Yeah, that would be that wouldn't be as bad as getting raped. Yeah, know, I know. Having sucking his dick on him. But I mean, it's still it's pretty embarrassing. Like it's like you got beat up so bad that they just took a shit on you, and there's nothing you could do about it. Sorry, I'm still thinking about like what's up with this. I know. I don't know. I can't like, think. If if we could really get that girl on there that I want to get on here it would be so awkward for her her face would probably turn red in like the first five seconds oh yeah for sure and she probably wouldn't be able to talk oh you're right what yeah I'm sliding to the dryer I got it pretty tight tight dryer I might be able to get Anita on there she might do it she can talk yeah is that the first time she's got laid yeah why not you don't have to hear about Tony then did he leave her virginity to Tony? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Why would you even think that? <laughs> she has a kid now. So? so? I see with Andrea, I obviously did not lose my virginity to Andrea. Yeah, you did. So I could get Cindy out of there. But she'd just probably be too embarrassed. Like, this is just, like, trying to live a, a, good, good, a better good life. life now. Yep. And I'm actually proud of them. They're doing really good. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. Who could I get on? But... It, but the thing is, they would also have to want to talk about it, too. Yeah, I mean, I would like, ask them before I brought them on. And, and not, like, they get on here and, like, don't really say nothing. We have to, like, coax them to talk. Well, I mean, like, it might make them more comfortable if we told our story. Because, I mean, mine has a humorous bent to it. Like, so that's cool. Like, everything about me and sex is always a joke somewhere in there. Even if it's just my dick. I mean, that's the biggest joke of all, but... The, the time I fucking sent, uh... The uh, that one song to you, God, what is that called? The safety dance. The safety dance, and you like look over and you like look at her, and you're like, <laughs> and she's like, "What are you laughing at?" You're like, "Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> Play the safety dance while you fuck her. <laughs> Play the safety dance. Oh, the safety dance. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not sure. I don't know if both guests would be on there. Would be willing to be on there. Yeah, uh, Tanya like, might like. But yeah. she's kind of. But I don't know if we can get uh, Patches to talk. I know about we can get TJ will talk because TJ's so excited about it. Like it's a new fucking toy and I love it. It's yeah, so T awesome. TJ will. Yeah. Dude, I lo yeah. the, my favorite part was like when he like totally just escalated everything. When he was like, mm -hmm. "All right, we had sex. Think I should fuck her in the ass?" Yeah, he's like, like "What?" <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I just I just had sex with her for the first time. You think I should fuck her in the ass now?" No, TJ. TJ, you sound like you're just gonna fucking like ra violently ram in there whether she says yes or no, and you're just gonna keep pounding it, and she's gonna be like, never wanna open the hole for anyone ever again. And he's so cute. He's so in love. Aww. Man, I don't know. He's he was so excited though. Mhm. Mm I'm proud of him. Like especially when we were at Buffalo Wild Wings, the whole time, he was like overly excited the entire time. Like I said, it was like a kid with a new toy, man. He like, just want to talk about it. N not even that. Just like everything there, like overly excited for everything, like like super hyper, bouncing off the wall. Well, that's how TJ is, though. I know. He's never not been like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like him. It's high energy guy. Forever. Mm -hmm. He's uh, it, he, he's, it, Tyler Han like he's Tyler Hansel for his life. <laughs> <laughs> psycho T. I don't know. Yeah, Psycho T. He could be Psycho you TJ. You could start calling him Psycho T. Psycho TJ. Yeah. I'll call him Psycho T. It's really, it kind of, kind of like strange how much he reminds me of myself, just a little bit more hyper. When yep, I'm he's a little bit more wound up than you, but he's he's you all over. It's weird. Like when he stamped that chick's ass, and I was like trying to talk to him. Uh huh. If there, like I'm saying, if you there was a chick on both sides bending over, you guys both would have making the same face. Yeah, I know. So, like, yeah, you guys are just alike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. There's definitely been fucking, like, uh, we're both looking at butts. But, yeah, I mean, 
next episode we're gonna have the Turn out the lost episode. Have some guests on here. Feel free to leave any comments about the uh, podcast or your about, about, yeah, lost. what you think about music too. Like yeah, we we love to hear about what you think. Yeah, because we're music. always looking for new good albums. Oh yeah, uh, Ramstein. Which one? Uh, my favorite's Mutter. I know yours is Sin Sin Sex, Yeah, but I think those are both perfect albums. Honestly, I think their their first two albums were fucking and uh, Libris Paralida. Like that's a fucking amazing album. What was the first one called? What is it called? Ramstein. Yeah, that one's not that great. I don't know. I like it. It's all right, but they definitely got better as they went. I completely agree. All right, until next time, bitches. We'll see you later. This is the most hated podcast. Tell you to suck our dicks, bitch. Fuck you. Also, next time I'm fucking you in the ass. <laughs>